Hello everyone, Free the Prentice here, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. On the last episode, we finished up Clanker's Cavern. Now we're going to head to the next area, as long as we can find the the place to put the puzzle pieces. But before we go, something that is of importance for later, just in case we need it. You'll remember that we hit a switch up here. It raised this. So let's uh, hop on up here. Oh, there we go. That works. I was going to slide in a minute there. All right. We got Brentilda up here for starters. Let's see what she has to say. Grunty wears a flea circus under that repulsive dress of hers. I think your voice changed, Brentilda. She's also got this nasty pet dog whose name is Big Naka. Big Naka. My sister sings in her own band, Grunty and the Monster Mob. They're awful. Yeah, remember, three tips. Hope you viewers are taking notes, because those might come in handy later. Right over here. Beak bomb this. And it'll open up the grate down below. Perfect. Well, no sense in not checking it out, right? There we go. And let's uh, go through here and see what we discover on the other side. Alright, here we go. Might as well grab some eggs to refill ourselves. Ah, there it is. Bubble Gloop Swamp. Go ahead and put all the puzzle pieces in with the right trigger. And that'll open up the doorway to Bubble Gloop Swamp. That area should look a little familiar. In the last episode, we were mucking around a bit and exploring, so... Let's, uh, head on over that way. And you'll remember, I already opened up the note door to that room. It costed 180 music notes. We had 200 at the time. Now we're sitting at a lovely 300, because we've completed three worlds at 100% so far. So yeah, we're doing pretty good on the notes right now. Alright, we are done in this room. Only time we'll ever have to come back here is if we need to talk to Brentilda again, but I don't think that's necessary. Oh, you. Haha. <laughs> I notice I've been taking a lot of hits in this playthrough. I don't know if it's just because I'm rushing around and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Alright, we're going to ignore that guy. There's a Jiggy in there that we just can't quite get yet. Oh boy, what do you got to say this time? When Tootie is a big old lump, I have just the frock to hide her rump. Oh boy. Well, enough said there. Well, we can't get the boots in the other area, so we're going to go through here and talk to Brentilda here. My fat old sister's favorite sport is loogie flicking. That's gross. Although she's dim, she attended Fat Hag High. And last but not least, you won't believe that Gruntilda's party trick is eating a bucket of beans. Well, that's not terrible, I guess. I mean, I don't know about a whole bucket, but... Yeah, I don't know. Gold feather hidden under there. We're not going to worry about that, though. We really need it that desperately. Can't really deal with the swamp here anyways, because there's, like, piranhas in there. Alright, well, on that note, what's behind here? Ah, one of those honeycomb guys, but we're going to ignore him and go into Bubble Goop Swamp. One of my favorite worlds. Hooray! Well, bottles, how many moves we got here? Uh, here we go. Keep your eyes open for your new move, beak face. Oh, and right over here is where that new move is. Not in a very good hiding spot, buddy. These are the wading boots. Chicken Legs wears them so you can safely wade through dangerous areas, like the swamp for a limited time. Okay, Chicken or uh, Kazooie, let's go grab a pair. Great, now you know all the swamp's new moves. Well, thank you, Bottles. Had to teach me how to put on a pair of boots. It's pretty embarrassing. Alright, with that, let us begin our trek through here. We notice this guy over here. Obviously, what do we do in a situation where something's opening its mouth? Yummy! Croctus like that. I bet he does. And yep, he'll warp around the stage. So, Me want yummy egg too. I guess they're supposed to be all different Croctuses. They all look the same to me. I don't know if that's what that is, you know. I guess I'm blind to the plight of the Croctus. But yep, sure enough, there's the waiting boots. Those will give you a temporary protection from the swamp here. But first, before we put them on, because there's a mumbo token down there, let's grab this little guy. 
And then I'll go demonstrate what it's like to wear the boots. Just literally go up to them, and there you go. And they're on a timer. So you can cancel them early if you want. But, eh, really no point in doing that now. So grab that mumbo token. And head on over here. Oh, boy. I thought there was a way to cancel these. Hmm, guess not. Oh, boy, that frog's gonna get us. Haha, <laughs> nice try, frog. Let's see if there's anything up here. Oh, just some eggs. We have a hundred, don't we? No, almost. Alright, what I like about this area is these music notes kind of direct you around. It's kind of nice. Shows you what areas you've been to. Let's go over this way and check out... Ooh, fall into the swamp, absolutely. This is piranha water. Keep your smelly feet out. Oh boy, we got frogs galore over here. Well, anything hiding in these besides wading boots? Oh, hey. Well, there's something over there. A giant egg of some sort. But first, let's put these wading boots on. Uh, Kazooie. Jump. Thank you. Oh, uh, what was going on there? Well, this is going to be interesting. We might not be able to... Oh, yeah, we're going to take a hit. We're going to take a hit here. Oh, no, we're not. Haha. <laughs> Nice try, game. Try to zoom me out of that. That was pretty crazy. See that? Wouldn't let me jump out of that log. Right over here, we want to hit the X's on these. Go ahead and hop up here again. I wonder what we'll find inside this egg. Who knows? Does anyone else have any ideas? It's a jig, of course. What else would we hide inside a giant egg? Alright, now well, we're going to ride this little leaf right here for a moment. Over to this, and go ahead and head up here and grab that uh, mumbo token. And we're done over on this side of the swamp. Alright, uh, let's head over here now. Before we go over there, we're going to go ahead and activate this. Because right up there, that spawns in a jiggy. But it also gives us a time limit to get the Jiggy. So, instead of, you know, collecting the crocodile guy over there that's going to be in that area, we're going to speed up to that Jiggy first. And then we'll backtrack and collect whatever we miss. Even if we miss a music note on the way, I would much rather get to the Jiggy. Oh boy, I feel like I'm running a little too fast here. Alright, take your time. We don't want to fall off at the very end here. That would be embarrassing. Get Jiggy with it. All right, there we go. Jiggy number two. Yeah, Swamp's actually not a very big area. I'd like to think Clanker's Cavern almost feels bigger than the Swamp. All right, the camera's freaking out again. Why not? Giant turtle down there, too. Now, let's go up here. There's a Mumbo token. Might as well grab this. Sitting on 20 of those. If only Mumbo was around for a transformation. Ow. Well, we didn't mean to do that. But hey, we're just in time to fight these guys. Err, gungly trespasser. He's after our gold. We'll ne he'll never beat us. You think so? Bring it on. Oop. Ah. Come here, you. Yeah, each one of these guys takes two hits to defeat them. With the beak attack. I don't like being stuck inside the logs. I feel like the game bugs me out in those. Oh boy, come on. Mr. Frogs. Hey, get back here. Gotcha. Blub. You're too tough for us flibbits. Take our gold. Happily, I'll take your gold and your honeycombs and your wife. All of the wives are mine. Give me the flibbit wives. Alright. Well, on that weird, awkward note, I don't know why Banjo and Kazooie would want, would want flibbit wives, but, you know, to each their own, I suppose. If that's your thing. Alright, right up here we got Croctus' little buddy up here again. Feed him. And that'll spawn the next one up there. Actually, that's where we're going to head next, too, since we're, you know, might as well. There's no point in not heading that way. Okay, let's head over here, and yeah, I bet you're wondering how we're going to get those notes in the in the swamp water there. We can't really fit under there with 
Kazooie, so I guess we'll have to figure out. Maybe there's a secret move in here we can learn. Who knows? Let's go ahead and destroy all these huts here. Okay, perfect. Give us the rest of these here notes. And then we got ourselves a witch switch. Oop, hit that. And as per usual, something opens up to give us access to a jiggy in the hub. And in that case, it blows off the top of that witch's hat. So, now we'll be able to get that jiggy that we passed by earlier. Alright, we got Croctus guy over here. Let's go ahead and grab this mumbo token. Oh, well, wrong button. Seems to be a slight delay sometimes in the button presses. Don't know why. Alright, well, it spawns another Croctus over that way. And then I think up top here, if we smash this up real good like, it gets ourselves a Jiggy. Alright, that's a Jiggy number four. And, uh, yeah, let's, uh, work our way back down. We'll have to figure out how to get those notes a little bit later. Maybe we'll have to actually backtrack. Who knows? Alright, let's head over this way. So, we got options here. Might as well head over here. Okay. Give me that note, please. Thank you. Oh, boy. Who are you? Ooh, my feet are so numb and cold. Are they? Well, how about this? Oh, God, it sounds painful. Oh, that's a bit better. Well, why are you screaming, dude? Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, God. It hurts. It hurts. He said, oh! Oh, boy. Well, there you go, sir. Takes care of that. Oh, with that, he'll hack open it. He'll hack up a jiggy and open his mouth. Mmm, tank tops. At last. Feet are warm at last. I can speak. And yeah, it's gonna be a trend for us. First, let's go over here and grab this Jinjo hiding out in the swamp water. Don't know why the piranhas aren't interested in him, but, you know, to each their own once again. Go ahead and grab this here Jiggy. jiggy with it. There you go. And uh, we'll head inside this guy. Oh boy, I'm getting Clanker's vibes again. Clanker flashback vibes again. Alright. Oh, what? Did we... No, I thought I went in there. Oh no, we're making noises in the background, everyone. No! It's okay, don't worry. I promise. It'll all be over soon. Either that or we'll edit it out. Who knows? What we got in here? First of all, we got music notes. Those are always important. And most importantly, oh boy. Quiet, please. The famous tipped up choir will now perform my latest work. Oh boy, what is that? Ah, so it's gonna be a matching game here, or like a follow the leader kind of thing. I will copy that in just a moment. First, I want this. Mm, no, I didn't forget. How oh, nuts. I already know. Yellow, purplish, red. Leave me alone, Tip Top. I want your mumbo token. I know how to play the color game here. Let's grab this, and we'll go down here and get started on this. Yellow. Man, so much turtle abuse in this. The purple guy. The red guy. Alright, bring on your next one, you fool. Lesson number two, huh? Okay, let's see if we can remember that. So we got the middle guy, was it? You, and it was you. No, nope, what? Oh, no, it was the other purple. Nuts. I'm sorry, Tip Top, please. I know what I'm doing. Okay. Ah, man. Wait, what? Oh, am I supposed to hit the next one in the line? Since I hit the blue first? Oh, yeah, okay, that doesn't make any sense why you would do that, but alright. That one. And into red one. I don't know why I went for that purple on the left there. And then it was yellow right. Yep, sure enough. Okay, bring on your final challenge, you. Ah, splendid. One more lesson. Alright, give it to me, bro. So we got red. We got the light blue. Got the dark purple in the back. The blue, the red, and the yellow. 
and then the blue in the middle. Okay. So we got what was red, and then light blue, and then the purple, and then the blue, then the red, right? Yep. Then it was yellow, and then I believe the middle blue again. Yes, I think so. Perfect. Phew. We did it after our screw up at the beginning. Magnificent. A true masterpiece. Here, take this trinket I found earlier. Oh, well, that's no trinket. That's a jiggy, and we need those. Hooray. Thank you, sir. Sorry. There is nothing more I can teach you. That's fine. I don't want any more lessons. Let's get out of here before he tries to push his wares on us. All right. Well, we're done over there. The mean-looking crocodile guy over there. We can't do nothing there. We're pretty much done on that side, so I guess we don't have much of a choice but to go over here. Is this thing alive? Will it eat us? Doesn't look like it. I think we're safe. Okay. We are good, everyone. Oh, can't climb up the side of him there. That's fine. Well, there's Croctus over there. Can't climb up the back. There's nothing up here, is there? Oh, there's waiting boots. We'll deal with that in a moment. Hello, Croctus guy. Got anything for us? Got jiggy this time? Oh, the final Croctus, I think, is behind the turtle there. We'll go over there in a moment. I want to go over here and see if there's anything up here. Oh, yeah, there's a Jinjo up there. Some music notes there and some gold feathers. Alright, we're going to go over here real quick and get this row of music notes. There's a Flibbit hiding in here. We're going to kill him for no apparent reason. Sorry, buddy. You're just another casualty. Skip on those music notes for now, and I'll explain why in a moment. I know they got waiting boots right across the way over there, but it's a little bit of a walk, so I think we're going to skip that for now. We're going to go ahead and fly our way across here. And head on up that way. Can't really do anything with the giant crocodile right now, I'm afraid. So let's uh, go up here. See what we got going on. Some kind of maze back there. We're going to ignore that for now. Oh, hey, Mumbo Skull in there. Huh. Nice. Well, we'll get there eventually. Yeah, I think we need to go around the other way. Guess we don't got much of a choice but to put these wading boots on and just go for it. Not much of a maze. I just want to make sure that you grab all the music notes while you're running through here. That way we don't have to do any crazy, like, backtracking. And thankfully, they give us uh, another set of boots here at the end. How generous of you, game. Music notes. That's what I was afraid was going to happen. Sometimes you can walk through them accidentally if you're not careful. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Jump! Aha! Okay, ignore those boots, because right over here, if we pop this switch here, that'll spawn a Jiggy over there. With not a lot of time to get it, if I remember correctly. Yeah, ten seconds. That's fine. Just gotta take our time. And there we go. Easy Jiggy. And that is Jiggy number seven. Not too bad. Only three more Jiggies to go. Yeah, we're breezing through the swamp. All right, right up here, we're going to use these boots. Aha. Perfect. Grab some music notes. Why not? Got to get them all, man. All right, it takes care of that. We got a mumbo skull here. Mumbo, you hiding anything back here? Aha, a mumbo token. I should have known. Well, let's go in here and take a look at what's going on with mumbo. Well, only ten tokens is all I need. Well, but first, before we step on that, we're going to hop up here. Because right over there in the center is another honeycomb piece for us. So there we go. And actually, Mumbo, if you don't mind uh, changing us, we're going to spend ten of our tokens here to unlock a new transformation. The alligator transformation. Wait, Mumbo need new boots. Only kidding. Oh, boy. Better get out of here before he turns us into alligator boots. Or crocodile boots, whichever. Croco, is that you? 
I don't know, having flashbacks to Mario RPG all over again. But yeah, most importantly with the crocodile transformation, we can go into the swamp. Aha, and the piranhas will not damage us. Is there anything over here in the corner? I always forget. No, it doesn't look like it. So yeah, all those musical notes that we skipped up because they were in the swamp, we can go get those now. Pretty simple. There's only three more jiggies left, too, so... I think we gotta get one from Croctus. One from the Jinjos. And then there's one more we can get with the Crocodile Transformation. Which we'll go after in just a moment here. Because now, with the Crocodile, we can technically go inside... Over here, inside the, uh, the Crocodile... We'll do that in a moment. For now, we skip that. Because I, personally, would like to go get those music notes so I don't accidentally forget. There's a Mumbo token over there we can get. I think there's a Jinjo over here somewhere, too, if I'm not mistaken. Guess we'll see in a minute. I don't really need the eggs. Oh, yep, there he is. Hello, Mr. Jinjo. Want to give us a Jiggy? I think you're the last one, right? Yep, there we go. Perfect. Takes care of the Jinjo Jiggy. Grab these Mumbo tokens for future use. And yeah, see, we could have got the boots over here. Man, that camera change is so jarring. Right over here, we got some more music notes. There's a one-up. We might as well grab that since we're in the neighborhood. Why not? Oh, grab it. I actually think we cap out at nine lives in this game. Alright, so we're only missing six music notes. That'll give us all 100. I'm sure we'll find those eventually. Let's uh, head on over to that giant crocodile now, because I think we've gotten pretty much all we can in this area, other than the, uh, the rest of the jiggies. Got both honeycomb pieces. Almost got all the notes. I think the rest of them might even be inside this crocodile. Well, let's head on in and go in through the snout here. Ah, there we go. Yep, there should be three on this side and three on the other side. There we go. Grab that. That's all 100 music notes. You found all the notes. Thanks, Bottles. You don't have to inform me every time. I can see the number on my screen. All right. Her, her, her. I'm Mr. Vile. Greediest croc of all. Play my game. Win a prize. A to accept, B to chicken out. Yeah, we'll play your game. Eat more red yumblies than me. Press X to eat yumblies. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Yeah, now with this game, we just want to eat as many of these yumblies as possible. Now, he moves a lot faster than you do. And it is possible, th those shoes over there, they, uh, they'll make you faster. But only once you've unlocked the move, the move to do so, you would be able to put them on and actually outrun him. These first few games are not as hard. But... The next ones that he has you do can be a little tough. But yeah, you see how, how quick it is for him to catch up on the score. A lot of it's luck-based, really, more than anything. Where the red yumblies will pop up. Just gotta stay ahead of him the best we can. Right, line yourself up with a few yumblies in a row there. Oh boy, yeah. See how how close that was? 29 to 28. To be pretty rough. Grr, you only win easy game. Now we play harder game. Eat reds, avoid yellows. They not ripe. Now this might be where things get a little tricky. Because now you don't want to eat the yellow yumblies. You want to eat only the reds. But once again, he still moves faster than you. So, yeah. Just gotta try to stay ahead the best we can. Ah, don't go away, Yumblies. I need you. There's one down here. Perfect. Oh boy, we missed that one. Absolutely. I mean, you could use the strategy of getting ahead of him and just kind of eating the ones that he goes after. But he'll just kind of push you around a bit, so... Yep, see? Kind of pushed me out of the way there a little bit. But yeah, this game's a cinch to win if you put on the running shoes. 
definitely do not want to get caught eating a yellow Yumbly, because I do believe it stuns you. All right, any more red Yumblies? They're all popping up by him. Takes care of that. Bah, lucky greeny wins. Must play last game. Only eat what is shown at top of screen. Ready? Yeah. Like, that's literally the only thing that's causing an issue with this shit right now. Come on, switch to red. Switch to red. Mr. Vile's a tool, man. Come on, give me yellers. Okay, Mr. Grumbly, you... You... Switch to red on me. Red. 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 Switch to yellow, please. Yellow, please. Thank you. Yeah, boy. Just in time. Holy cow. Mr. Vile was being quite a jerk. I'll take that jiggy. Alright, give me that. Man, that many... Uh, no, I don't want to play that. No. Yeah, that's a fool's errand right there. Yeah, if you can win three games in a row, he will give you three lives. I will slide off like the slug, man. Hey, man, I am not playing your fool's game. Man, that was a lot rougher than it needed to be, that's for sure. All right. Now that we're done there, we're running really low on HP here. We need to head back up to Mumbo, change back because we've got to feed Croctus now. And once we feed Croctus, we should get our last Jiggy, and then we'll be done in here. So that's actually pretty nice. Go ahead and get some of our life back. Man, that guy can be a hassle, that's for sure. I know they recommend you go in there and you use those shoes, but I don't really see a point in freaking waiting to get the ability and then backtracking. It just doesn't seem worth it to me, in my opinion. Okay, come on. I think that's the only thing I don't like about the swamp is that one mini game. But other than that, not too bad. We're just about done here. We just gotta go over by the turtle guy, I think it was. The turtle, and should be the final Croctus to feed. Okay, unfortunately, we've got to wade back through here. Oh, that's okay. I get to enjoy a little, little bit of this music. Oh, shoot. What? Wow. That ran out a lot faster than I thought it would. It's weird. I don't remember missing a pair of boots. The only thing I can think of is because I doubled up on the boots, it actually didn't double up like I thought would happen. And instead, it actually counted the time from the original set of boots that I grabbed. Alright, it takes care of that. Let's uh, head on over to that giant turtle guy there and get this all sorted out. Then we can get on out of here. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, I almost fell in a few times there. Alright, game. Been rather interesting. And there's our last crocodile. I'm pretty sure he's the last one. It's number five, so. Alright, dragonfly. This is exactly why I use the beak barge attack. Alright, that works for me. Thanks for flicking that honeycomb in there, bud. Okay, you. There we go. Give me that jiggy so I can get out of here. There we go. Jiggy number 10. And with that, we have completed the swamp, everyone. Hooray. Bubble Gloop Swamp is now done. Now let's, uh... Well, that camera can be rather jarring for no reason. 
Ooh, just barely almost touched the water there. Yeah, no, touch the water there. Why not? Absolutely. I just got done talking about how we barely touched the water. Seems like this game is pretty hell bent on destroying me. All right, let's uh, head on over here. Well, there's some honeycombs. Might as well grab those while we're in the area, and then get on out of here. Give me your mister. Give me your delicious sweet honey. I must consume you. All right, takes care of that. Of course, before we do anything, wrap up this uh, episode here. We're going to go and grab this here jiggy down here. That we opened up. Oh no, we can't actually. I have to fall in from a different area. That's right. Now let's talk to Brentilda. My lazy sister often sleeps in a pigsty, the dirty hag. Oh, that's not nice. The only thing she's ever won was the dirtiest undies competition at witch school. She often boasts of appearing on the cover of Fat Hag Monthly, sitting on her broomstick. That's gross. Not a thought that I want to think of. Well, that's right, I forgot. We actually cannot get that jiggy right now. Because we have to fall in through the top. So we'll have to climb the, the tower, the witch's tower here, a little bit further. But I guess before we end the episode, we'll come over here real quick. Grab these boots and then sprint this way. Gonna ignore the gold feathers over there. Cause right over here through this doorway should be some something we can do. Just quick enough. Don't want to get stuck on the edges. You'll fall. You'll slip and slide. Okay, come on through here. Yep, there we go. We did it. Aha! Success. Cause this is the next map. So, once we place all the puzzle pieces here, it'll unlock Freeze Easy Peak. And there we have it. Another area we haven't been to yet, but eventually we'll get there. So, we might as well unlock it since we're in the neighborhood. But, where exactly is the entrance to Freeze Easy Peak? I guess we'll find out on the next episode of Let's Play Banjo-Kazoo. See you later, pretty squad. Have a good day.